Hey guys, this is David from This Game on CF, and I'm going to be talking about the upcoming implementation of AVA Sports in um, the North American and European version of AVA. So, um, the first thing was this mode has been in other versions, and it was essentially promised that it would never be coming to ours, but now it has, which is amazing. Um, it was kind of like well, in Crosshair and AVA, how they said the Barrett M82 would never be put into the game, and it has in both. But anyways, let's continue. So there are quite a couple of different modes slash events for this um, for this whole mode. So there um, there are seven: super jump, skipping, shooting, rush, C4 ball and board. That's what they're called at least. So I'll go through each of them. So the, thir the first one is called Super Jump. Now what happens is you hit a kind of a conveyor belt which um, speed it accelerates you very quickly and when you press the jump key um, well shoots you straight up into the sky and what you have to do is try to land on the platform and you'll see pictures of it and the higher up or the uh, well, I mean, they're all placed in different um, locations, and they give you different points. One being the easiest, and five being the hardest, and you get the corresponding amount of points for that. For that, um, so there's two things you have to do for this. You have to well, you have to do timing twice. The first one is when you hit the jump to distance yourself front and back, and the second one is you have to time yourself before you jump when the platformer is going left or right for whichever one you're aiming for. For the super jump mode, you can try to use your grenades to get people to make bad jumps and also it's one team versus the other. Okay, so the next mode is called skipping and essentially what happens is this big laser travels across the ground and um, goes up the walls and over the ceiling and it's kind of like playing big game of jump rope except it's deadly so yeah and um I believe the people try to knife each other during this different teams so yes for the skipping mode you can knife each other and throw nades and every time you jump over the laser you get one point and also it's team versus team here as well okay so the next mode is shooting now this is um uh, firing range with targets that will appear randomly. There's quite a couple rows of them. And um, even though they're in front of you, you can shoot any of them. Um, everyone for this mode has the Mosin Nagant uh, sports mode. Um, yeah, there's a lot of people shooting and you have to be very quick at shooting. So for the shooting mode, each target you hit gives you an S point, and you stand in a booth with one other player. Now this other player is an enemy, and you can kill him. You have unlimited ammo, and this game, generally speaking, is your quick scoping because you don't have enough time to scope and aim, and targets will come up randomly, so you can't just free scope anything. It's team versus team as well. So the next mode is going to be rush, and this one I'm not too sure about, but one team tries to kind of push it's kind of like mini escort without you actually ex escorting something because one team tries to push towards another is not quite base but where they're um, staying and then the team which is like defending it which is up top has grenades which they throw down to stop their progress and um, after one team gets through or the time runs out they switch sides so for the rush mode, there are three paths you can take. Each one has its different um, advantages and disadvantages. But all you have to do is run from one side to the other. And the NRF have unlimited nades, and it's only after 30 to 50 seconds that you switch sides. And for every kill the um, defending team gets, they get one point. And this is also team versus team. The next mode is DC4 mode. Now, pretty much there's a <laughs> Once again, a whole lot of C4 like explosives which are planted, and half of a team 
is supposed to defend their side of a plant at C4, and the other half of a team is supposed to be defusing it on the opposite side of enemies. And then, obviously, the people um, have to, the enemies have to defend it, or um, try to uh, protect it. Defend it, or try to defuse it, I'm sorry. Okay. So, whoever has the most um, defusals, I believe, wins. It's either that or however many um, you can allow to detonate. The next mode is called Ball Mode, and essentially it's kind of like Death Valley, where there are the kind of turrets which shoot um, these balls at you, and um, I'm not quite sure on this one. This one's a little confusing to me, but I believe you try to shoot the balls. Or right, you're not supposed to die, and then I think you whoever survives the longest, kind of. And um, you have a Beretta Sports Mode. Beretta M92 FS Sports Mode for this. So, for the ball mode, um, you get one point for every ball you destroy about the same time. There's a door which leads to a pretty much a an identical room on the opposite side where the other team is and if one team pays too much attention to the balls the other team can come in and kill all of them. Um, killing enemies does not give you points. Okay, The last mode is the board mode and this one's a lot of fun. Pretty much it's like a... you have two walls I believe it is. No, three walls which have panels which say either EU or NRF and um, both teams go and pick up grenades and try to hit the enemy's boards and when you hit that board after like a second or two it'll flip and say your team's um, name and by the end of a time limit whoever has the most boards wins so that's pretty much it for the actual events in a board mode you can get you can carry more than one grenade and you get one point for each panel you switch to your teams and a team that has accumulated more points in the ball and bomb mode will start with more panels in the beginning of this mode. So in every single game of sports mode that you play, you get S points, and these are just sports points. You can spend these points on the Mosin. Um, sports or Breda Sports, um, they're captioned MS capsules, and it's 25 to get one Mosin capsule and 15 for one Beretta cap capsule. And then it's 1,200 points like that you can buy the red not the red duck bat I'm sorry the sports bat permanent so I'd probably save up for one of those if you have enough time to do it um, so when you buy these capsules you're trying to win the Mosin sports or the bread of sports for 30 days because you cannot win either of those permanently you guys can win the um, M67 um, sports just by buying the capsules for the Breda or the Mosin. So, yeah. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this extended breakdown of um, the AVA Sports Mode. If you have any questions, please ask them in the comments. I'm sorry if um, there's some static, and I'm sure you've heard of like pretty much half the commentary. I'm not sure what that's from, so I do apologize for that. Thank you guys for watching.